Uh, check this thing out over here. What is this called? This is called a hyphen. And you'll notice that even though this is sort of made up text, there's hyphens all throughout the document. So there are a series of things that you want to avoid when you're setting text. One of them is, I don't want hyphens. I don't want hyphens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this paragraph. And you'll notice that I have a hyphenate feature in my control bar. Is it on or off? By default, it's on. I'm going to check it to turn it off. So you'll notice that it removes the hyphen from my content, from that paragraph. OK, so let me zoom out here for a second. And I'm going to turn on my hidden characters. Okay. So you'll notice that the paragraph where it ends and the other one begins, don't you think that's really close? Don't you think that's really close? Where, the, where my, par my first paragraph ends and the new one begins, there isn't a space there. I like having a little bit of a space there. Now, if you were working in Word, what would you be inclined to do to create another space? What would you be inclined to do? I, that's what I do. I just hit Enter again. But let's see what happens when we hit Enter. What did I actually do? I hit Enter, but I actually created something. What did I create? I created an empty paragraph. Okay, so you'll notice that I have a paragraph, an empty paragraph, and then another paragraph. Now that's actually a bad form. We don't want to create spaces by hitting return. You can do whatever you want in Word, I don't care. But in InDesign, because it's a layout application and it's a design software, I don't want to hit um, a double return or a triple return. So let me, let me add a bunch of extra returns. And by the way, you'll get, you'll get content in Word from your clients that are set up like this. Like I said, if I'm writing in Word, I'm just going to hit return twice. That's what I do. Okay. But I want to I present a problem to you or a situation that you'll see as a problem. Okay, so I just added spaces. I just added spaces between my paragraphs by hitting return. Um, was that really easy? What do you think? Does this look really easy? How long is it taking me? Is it fast? Is it fast or slow? You think this is fast? Oh my goodness, this is really slow. What's the, what's the margin of error that I miss one? Pretty high, that's what I would say. Now imagine that I had to do that on a 100 page document. What's the margin of error and what's the time that's going to take me to do that? This, 100 pages, just like this, with two columns on it, 10 point text. Is that easy or hard? Hard. That's very hard. Okay. Now, imagine you're working with a client, it's 100 pages, and they say, I don't like the space between the paragraphs. I want it bigger. So I've got to comb through all of, the pa all of the paragraphs and hit return. And then the client turns around and says, oh, I changed my mind. I want it the way that it was before, or I want it smaller. That is an enormous amount of work and time that you've just lost. So instead of hitting return, return, you should only have a paragraph to basically describe the end of the paragraph. But how do I create the space? So the space is driven in this Pilcro or paragraph formatting uh, feature. Now, you'll notice that when I go to this area, I have a bunch of little boxes, which we'll talk about here in a few minutes. But then I have a bunch of little icons that have units of measurement next to them. OK, so the first one here, this says left indent. So this will take my paragraph, and it will left indent the line. So if you ever have a paragraph that all of a sudden needs to be indented, instead of breaking it into separate text boxes or not honoring the margin, I just use this feature and it will inset it. Okay, so that's really nice. Okay. 
What about this feature right here? What is the one below it? This is called first line indent. And this is, this is what we would do in uh, a novel. Every paragraph would have to be indented. That's in a novel. In corporate documents, it's not, it's not needed, okay? So I'm gonna remove it. Uh, we have right line indent, last line indent. Okay, what's this one right here? This one's called a drop cap. What's a drop cap? Well, a drop cap is where the first letter is, consumes a larger area. Okay, so let's see that. Oh, drop cap two lines, drop cap three lines, drop cap four lines. So it takes the first character and it creates a drop, a drop cap. Why do, what do you think a drop cap serves? What's the point of it? It's a visual aid, contrast, but what do you think it does? It's usually at the beginning of an article. It's a visual hook to find the beginning of an article. That's what it's for, okay? Um, so here's the drop cap two lines, and then you can drop cap as many words as you want or letters as you want. So this is the quantity of characters, All right? So we just learned a drop cap. Well, then we have two left. This one's called space before, space before the paragraph. This one's called space before, excuse me, space after the paragraph. So this is the one that I'm looking for. So if I'm in this paragraph, I can say, hey, I want a quarter of an inch after this paragraph, or I want an eighth of an inch after this paragraph. So what's easier if the client says, you know, I really wish all of the spaces were a quarter of an inch. Well, I could select my whole document and type in a quarter of an inch. Now I have that space. Oh, that space is too big. Make it an eighth of an inch. Make it however big. You'll notice that I don't have to go into the paragraphs and hit return, return, or get rid of it. I'm just setting a unit of measurement for that feature, and it distributes the text for me. So this is the right way that we set text. Now, you'll notice that wherever I had an extra pilcro, a double pilcro, that space becomes amplified. It becomes twice the width of this. So if you have double pill crows, you have to get rid of them. And I, there are tools that will help me. Like let's say a client gave me 100 pages worth of um, paragraphs and they're all set to double pill crows. I don't have to remove them manually the way that I'm doing this now. I can use um, features in the software that will clean it up for me but I don't discuss that in this class. If you wanna learn how to do that, you'll have to take other classes with me. I like when I advertise my classes like that.